Turn your Wi-Fi only tablet into a free cell phone with Groove IP Lite. This is a Groove IP Lite review. My Google Nexus 7 tablet came without any cellular radio hardware, so my only option for internet access relies on Wi-Fi. At first, I had no way to use it as a cell phone. But I love this little tablet. It's just the right size for my needs, and it's speedy and powerful. It's also inexpensive, with no monthly subscription fees, and you gotta love that. Skype helped me with my voice communication needs, but it just wasn't enough, and I, I found a great solution. In spite of its lack of cellular phone hardware, I've been using mine as my, as my one and only cell phone for more than a month now. I take it with me everywhere I go, and I'm always ready to receive or make phone calls, even while out shopping or when on the road. Furthermore, in spite of many, many phone calls, it hasn't increased my costs by even one penny. I had already overcome the uh, cellular internet access limitations with my Freedom Pop cellular Wi-Fi router, um, as described in our August 2013 review. It makes a great companion to today's project. If you haven't seen our article from, from August on this subject yet, you really ought to check it out at AskMrWizard.com. You'll find it prominent along in the index along the left side of our home page. If you live in a major U.S. city, you may be able to use this $40 device for 4G cellular internet access without any subscription fees, and then you too will always have free Wi-Fi. Like millions of other people, I had also already discovered Google Voice, which allows me to get an additional telephone number with powerful new internet management tools. Using those Google-based tools, I configured that new phone number to automatically forward any incoming calls to my home phone, my office phone, and to my wife's cell phone. I also configured custom voice greeting messages for friends and family members. All that is old news, but it turns out to have been strategic when I decided to investigate using my tablet as my cell phone. The final component is a free Android app known as Groove IP Lite, available in Google's App Store. In order to use it, you must already have Google Voice installed. Using your Google Voice phone number, it emulates a cell phone over your Wi-Fi connection to the Internet whenever and wherever you are in Wi-Fi range. So, my cell, phone, my cell phone solution adds three components to my plain vanilla Google Nexus 7 tablet. One, Google Voice. Two, Groove IP Lite for Android. And three, Freedom Pop's free 4G WiMAX service. Even if you can only use the first two of those three components, you can make and receive free phone calls at any free Wi-Fi hotspot. With that final component, this one, you need never be out of touch as long as you don't use up the generous free data offered by Freedom Pop each month. You can find Groove IP Lite in Google's well-known free Google Play Store, just like any other free app. It installs, just like any other app, with no nasty surprises. The installer is just 1.7 megabytes in size, so it's small by today's standards, and it downloads quickly. During the installation process, it uses Android's App Permissions facility to inform you that it needs permission to access and update all the facilities that you would expect of a modern, internet-aware communication device. If you're paranoid, you may find its list of permissions intimidating, but each seems to be justified as documented by explanatory text accompanying each listed permission. Now, I certainly have not reverse engineered the app to verify that all of its features are implemented properly, but I haven't detected any malevolent activities during my six weeks of relatively heavy use. I think it's harmless, and certainly, for me, it's been worthwhile. Once installed, Groove IP Lite steps you naturally through its setup requirements. A screen prompts you to enter your Google account name, the one that's associated with your Google Voice phone number. Google Voice then asks you to confirm permissions for Groove IP Lite to use that account. After that, Groove IP Lite displays a screen full of helpful advice regarding configuration of Google Voice to best advantage. Once it's configured, the app displays a large telephone-style keypad, pretty much as you'd expect of any telephone. Drop-down menus along the top edge allow you to pick, allow you to look at logs of recent uh, phone calls or recent SMS messages. 
Um, you can also access your Google Contacts list to retrieve any phone numbers that you may have that may have ever been put there in uh, in your Google list. Placing a phone call is easy and intuitive. If you know the phone number, you can just dial it exactly as you expected into the large uh, displayed keypad. If you need to look people up in Google Contacts, you'll find them listed alphabetically by first name. And then two simple taps on a displayed name let you drill all the way to their phone number and start a call. The app is configured through the familiar three-dot configuration icon, leading to a reasonable menu system containing pretty much everything I could think of, including the ability to designate an audio file for use as an SMS ringtone. Answering calls is easy and intuitive. When one comes in, unless you configure it for silence, you'll hear your Android ringtone, and your device's standard notification system will show the incoming call. Exactly as you'd expect, touching the prominently displayed message puts you into the call. At first, I had some problems with voice quality. People were telling me that they couldn't hear me very well, and they had trouble understanding me, but they were hearing their own voice echoing back to them. When I wore headphones, the problem went away, but uh, I didn't like that solution. Who wants to plug in a pair of headphones every time the phone rings? So, digging around on the internet, I learned that my Google Nexus 7 tablet actually has two microphones. Uh, one here on the top, and one on the side. Um, one of them is used for listening, and the other is for, used for echo cancellation. I noticed that one of these two microphones could easily be covered up by my thumb, if I was not careful the way I held the device, especially if I put it into uh, the carrying case. I have this carrying case here. And if I'm not careful when I hold it, for example, if I hold it like this with the flap halfway open like a book, it covers up that extra microphone. So I learned to fold it all the way back. And at that point, my audio problems went away. I learned to keep that second microphone uncovered and people began to report excellent sound quality for my phone, for my phone calls. Even though Groove IP Lite is always running in the background, I've been pleasantly surprised to see that it did not significantly drain my battery, and has yet to ever show up in my list of top eight battery hogs, and I'm sure my battery is lasting at least 98% as long as it did beforehand. Memory usage is also fairly modest. My Android device reports that Groove IP Lite is using 4.69 megabytes of application storage and 200 kilobytes of data, with an additional 812 kilobytes of, uh, in its cache. If you're looking for a way to save money, you might consider dumping your expensive cell phone subscription and replacing it with Groove IP Lite and Freedom Pop, as I've described. I like it, and it's been working well for me. Keep in mind, though, that you will not have the usual access to 911 calls through this system. It would be a good idea to print the telephone numbers of your local police, ambulance, and fire departments on the back of your phone so you can call them quickly in an emergency. Please visit us at AskMrWizard.com. You'll find this article in our Android section. In addition to this video clip, there are high-definition screenshots with additional important details about the app's Android permissions and images showing what I learned about the two microphones that are critical to good two-way communication with, with any of these Google Nexus 7 devices. You can even download and listen to the sound of a phone call using the system I've described. I hope you like this as much as I do. We appreciate your support.